Hello, my name is Miss Miller and today we'll be talking about family history. This lesson will be adapted from the New York City Passport for Social Studies curriculum. We'll be looking at Unit 4, Mini Unit B, Day 3, and the title is Families Have History. Pre-lesson discussion. This lesson includes discussion of topics related to family and family members, which may be difficult or sensitive topics for some students and their families. It's recommended that you discuss this lesson with parents or guardians prior to ensure that students can one, access family photos, two, that parents and guardians are prepared to engage their children in these discussions, and three, so that you can alter the lessons as needed. Students will learn that photographs are a way of learning about family history, and photographs can offer insights into family change over time. Focus questions. How can we discover our family's history? How do families change over time? How can we keep track and record our family history? Some materials we'll use, a photograph of Mr. Orenick and his family, a photograph of a West Virginia coal mining family, a photograph of Nick, Chief Nikolai, and his family near Anchorage, Alaska, a photograph of a family finishing pants in a New York City apartment, also a family record, a photo album or a slide deck. Vocabulary. Families have history. History is something that happened in the past. It can be as recent as last week, or it can be back hundreds of years ago. So this is a way that you can introduce the topic to the students and ask them what do they know about history. Then you could mention that a photograph is an artifact that can give us a lot of information about our ancestors. You can ask students, have they ever seen a photo? Have they taken any photos? You can explain that an artifact is an object that gives us information about the past and that our ancestors or the people who are in our families in the past long before we were born. So the first activity could be a family share out. Students can show photos and tell or identify the members of their families. If students are unable to access photos, which is something that you would determine prior based on the pre-lesson discussion with the families, then students can show drawings and tell and identify the members of their families. Then they could add the images to an album. So here, an image of an album, which is something I would have just to show students what a photo album could look like. Here, is a printable book I found on Teachers Pay Teachers, which is free. And here you could have a digital book, a digital slideshow where students can add those images. So as I just mentioned, on TeachersPayTeachers.com, you would search for family photo album. I sort it by price and ascending, so you would receive the free items first. We can look and see what best meets the needs of your class. We have some Spanish resources, as well as this one, which can also be downloaded as a PowerPoint, which can be edited. So you can take photos, or the students would send in photos and can be added to a presentation or a slideshow. Activity two, one way to give information, to gain information about our family history is to ask questions and look at photographs. So here are some of the photographs provided by our Passport for Social Studies curriculum. And to access these photos and others, you can go to www.docsteach.org and go to documents. So here are some of the images provided. 
the first one, family finishing pants in a New York City apartment. This was March 6th in 1912. So I would show the images and ask students what they notice. Here's another image, the photograph of Nick Chief Nikolai and his family near Anchorage, Alaska. And this was in 1915. So once again, I would show the students the image. What do they see? Who do they think these people could be? Where are they? And below is a description and additional details regarding the image. The next image, photograph of Mr. Oranik and his family. And this was June 14th in 1946. So again, ask students what they see, what they think they could be. And here's another picture, another photograph of a West Virginia coal mining family. And this was in April of 1974. And again, some more background information of the photo. So now that the students had a chance to look at the photos, now they could write. So they could start with the first image. Who do you think are the people in this picture? What does this picture tell us about the family and their history? And for some of our earlier learners who may not be able to produce independent thought by just looking at the photos, you could potentially provide a word bank. So that would be an adaptation to help students participate in learning. I typed in the word garden and farm, and you could type in other words you think would be appropriate for the lesson based on the needs of your learners and where you plan to take the discussion with your students. So these are the pre-provided questions. What does this picture tell us about the family and their history? Who do you think the people are in this picture? So again, this was the coal mining family from West Virginia and the students would potentially tell you what they think. Or you could add another question such as, where do you think the family is going? This is a question that I created. And then you could also have a sentence starter. The family is going to, and the students could write in the box to give information. Where do they think these people are going? Who are the members of the family? And you would do the same with the other images. So some adaptations for the lesson are to provide options. Again, there are four photos. Perhaps you may want to provide only two or potentially one. You could reduce the number of images or questions. Some of the slides had two questions, some had three. Potentially you may wanna ask one. You can use other family images. You could use images of other families and you could also go back to that particular website to look for additional photos, docsteach.org to find additional photos. You could provide more time to complete the activity. So this is a day three activity, but potentially this could be stretched out over a week if you feel the students need more time to comprehend and practice and write the concepts and the skills that you're teaching. As shown, you could add sentence starters. Students may not know exactly what to say or how to produce an idea, but the sentence starter could get them going, give them some ideas on what to say or what ideas or what you're trying to demonstrate by showing the photo. Potentially you could also add a word bank of words to help them think of ideas and add to those sentences. Could also create a larger writing and drawing space, potentially add lines to help students form letters. And also you could provide a model for student reference. In conclusion, families have history. A photograph is an artifact that can give us a lot of information about our ancestors. Ancestors are people who are in our families in the past, long before we were born. 
Adaptations can include options for the students. You can reduce the number of images. You could ask more or less questions. You could do true or false. What do you see? Is there a? Or you could provide a fill in a blank. You can use other family images aside from the ones that were given by our Passport for Social Studies curriculum. Things you may feel that be more appropriate for your students or more relatable or easier to compare and contrast. You could also provide more time to complete the activity. And lastly, you could add sentence starters or add a word bank. Thank you so much for watching.